So here's a background property you probably never knew about that's really cool. And so I have my background image, which is the star here. So first I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller just so we get a whole bunch of more stars. And you probably know of background repeat. And we can do a no repeat. So of course then our background doesn't actually repeat, but we can do something a bit more interesting here because the background repeat is actually a shorthand. So I get to put repeat and no repeat, and then I'm doing it for my X axis here and my Y axis here, or of course we could invert that the other way, but the really fun thing is about to come. Uh, but it, now you can see it's repeating the other way, but you can also use the keyword here of space and check this one out. It's going to put my stars, but as I resize this, it's always gonna have full stars and it's gonna put spaces in between them and it's gonna be equal spacing and the image will always be the entire image itself with nothing being cropped like you can often get with background images. And there is your CSS property that you might not have known about, a little bit obscure. If you'd like more CSS tips like this one and more in-depth tutorials, make sure to give a follow. And this has been your CSS tip of the day.